Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to share with you a little sneak peek of the Chanel 23K collection. Typically, Chanel comes out with six collections a year. They have the Cruise collection, which is called the C collection, and Printemps is the P collection, so that would be uh, Spring and Summer Act 1. And they have the S collection, which is for Spring and Summer Act two then they have the metiers the art which is the a collection and b collection is fall and winter act one and then they have the k collection which is the fall and winter act two so the way that chanel does the name for their collections they would have the number that stand for the year of the collection and then it follows with the letter which stand for the collection itself so currently we are in the 23B collection, which is the fall winter act one for 2023. Um, it's already in store. And the next collection that will be launching soon would be the 23K collection, uh, which is the fall winter act two. And this collection is scheduled to be released this month. We still don't have the exact date, but it's typically sometime in the middle of September. I did hear a rumor that Chanel will have another price increase. I don't know if it's gonna apply to Towards the bags but I think it's gonna apply towards more shoes and accessories that's just an FYI but I just want to quickly share with you guys some of the bags that will be coming out for the 23k collection I'll quickly share with you guys what are on the uh, ready to wear but uh, we'll focus mostly on bags on uh, this collection I see a lot of camellias um, camellia is the brand's motive so they do use the camellia often but specifically for this collection i see a lot of camellia i see it on ready to wear i see it on accessories and even handbags and also a lot of tweets because again it is winter a lot of black color some sequins this one it looks like a mini rectangular uh cross body bag it doesn't have the cc logo it looks like it just have the camellia flower in the front and this one it comes in the white and it looks like it also comes in the black and it looks like the leather is in patent leather um yeah i don't know how i feel about that um i do have a lot of issues with patent leather in the past so even though i think the back is cute it is a mini size which is what i'm looking for i do like the camellia on this back because it is just one camellia in the front in replace of the typical cc logo which i think is adorable yeah but i'm not a big fan of patent leather so this one is questionable for me i hope that it comes in different material um different type of leather and this next bag it's like another vanity case but bigger than the typical vanity case it has a top handle with the flap in the front and it also has the shoulder strap it looks like it's also in patent leather and it has like a little round bar on the top underneath the handle I don't like that. I think it would look better without that little um, bar on the top. But that's just me. Another patent leather piece. So it looks like they have a lot of patent leather in this collection. This one looks almost like a baguette. It is a crossbody bag. It is in black. I can't really tell 100%. But it looks like it does have the camellia in the front as well. This one I think is a seasonal bag. It does have the shoulder leather strap with the classic CC in the front. And it is in lambskin. There's really nothing special about this bag to be honest. I think it's just a really plain seasonal crossbody bag, shoulder bag. I just want to quickly sh uh, show you this outfit. I don't know, what do you guys think about this one? I mean, it is all about camellia, but I think when they overdo it, it personally, I think this looks to me a little bit tacky. Um, what do you guys think? This bag, it's the tiny little novelty bag it's one of those micro bag it does have the chain with the cc on the chain it looks like you know a really cute crossbody novelty kind of bag that doesn't fit anything it looks like a coin purse to me with the chain and the camellia of course and they have the camellia on the shoes on accessories this big old earrings right here it's a big old camellia yeah camellia everywhere this bag looks like another seasonal mini bag and it's in a print of camellias. So camellia and CC all over the bag. And I think the material is in sequin. You know, every season they come out with those special 
seasonal bag that costs like a lot of money. I think this is gonna be one of those. Uh, this cardigan is quite cute with the fur. This bag is cute too. This is another novelty piece that I think that will cost a lot of money. I think it looks like acrylic. Um, I might be wrong. If it is in acrylic, it's not gonna be cheap. It's a cute novelty bag, but it's not something that I would buy though. Most of the ready to wear are in black. We have some pink here. This is another seasonal crossbody bag. Seems like most of the bags are crossbody. It's not leather for sure, and it doesn't look like denim. So I think it's in some kind of wool material, some kind of fabric. It is the same bag as the other one. It's just in different material. I do like this outfit a lot. I love tweed, especially from Chanel, and I do find that this outfit is really cute. It comes with the jacket and the um, short. And the bag is really cute. It looks like the mini bag in tweed material, and it has the two camellia flowers. I think this one is cute, but would I buy it? Probably not, because I don't think it is one of those bags that is classic enough for me. I think as far as like the material or the color or the design, I think this whole look is really cute. I do like this whole look. This one, it looks like it has multiple chain. It has like two dangling chain on the sides of the bag. I am unsure of the material for this one. It looks maybe like suede or some kind of fabric material with the camellia in the front. So all of the style are very similar with the exception of maybe like the shape is a little bit different, the sizes are different, or the material. But I think all of the seasonal bags for this season has the camellia flower somewhere on the bag. This is another cute one. The other camellia bag is kind of like a round coin purse, but it is flat on the surface. This one is like a camellia in a ball shape. I think it is cute if, you know, people that have a lot of money and they like to collect the novelty pieces from Chanel. This is definitely a collector's piece and I'm pretty sure it's not cheap. Moving on, oh, I love this head piece. It is so cute. This look is pretty cool. I don't like the stocking on this look though, but I love the headpiece. It has like tiny little pearls all over. Oh, this bag. Right now we don't really know the official name for this bag yet, but the unofficial name for this bag is called the Kelly. I think people just named it the Kelly because it does resemble the mini Kelly bag. It does come in two different colors, the black and the pink. It is in lambskin with the flap in the front with the handle and the shoulder strap. I see a lot of people talking about this bag on my feet. I think this is gonna be the it bag of the season. So if you guys are interested in getting this bag, be sure to check with your SA and get on the wait list as soon as you can. I think this bag is gonna get sold out very quickly. Uh, here's another tweed mini. It looks like a mini bag. The square pattern for the tweed, it's a little bit smaller than the other one. The other one has the bigger square. Um, and it also comes with the two camellia flowers and the shoulder chain. Uh, what do you guys think about this tweed bag? It does have the black, the pink, and the many squares. I do like the look of this one, but I don't think I like it enough to want to buy it. Here's another round crossbody bag. This one, the chain is just all in metal. And I do like the intricacy of the chain. I do like all the details on the chain. It is very different. It does have the dinkly zipper pull. And I think it is in calfskin. It looks like shiny calfskin. I don't think it is patent leather. I think this one is cute. But again, it's a seasonal bag. So you know, if you're into seasonal, here's another black bag. It looks like tweed material with sequin on it. The sequins are in flower shape, kind of sprinkles all over the bag. The handle looks like the cocoa handle and it does come with the shoulder strap as well. This one again, it's the shape that is similar to the baguette. What do you guys think? I think this one is okay. It's not my cup of tea. The proportion on this bag is just a little bit off for me. We have another just seasonal mini bag. This is also in the shiny calfskin with the gold hardware. Um, nothing much to say about this bag. This one looks a little bit bigger than a mini, so this might be like a small or a medium size. 
This is probably something I would wear, but depending on the price, you know, I don't know how much these cost. Once I find out more information about all of the bags that will be coming out, which includes the seasonal bags and the regular collection, um, I might do an updated video and we'll show you all of the bags that will be coming out. All of these bags are from their runway. So they typically don't put the classic on the runway. They usually show only the seasonal bags. Yeah, this one is kind of underwhelming. You know, nothing too special about this bag. It's just another black seasonal bag. Here's another tweed bag. This one is also in the shape that looks like a the vanity. And this one is in like a hot pink and black tweed. I don't know about this tweed. It looks a little rough. I love tweed, but it has to be the right color. It's a nice looking bag, but this tweed somehow, it makes it look a little rough. Is it gonna be scratchy? I don't know, you know, you have to kind of see it in person, but from just looking at the pictures, um, it looks a little bit rough and scratchy to me. Another mini bag. It's also in the shiny calf skin with the chain goes all around the bag. They have done something like this before, so this is not something new. It looks like a practical bag if you like that chunky kind of look with the chain all around the back. And then they also have a clutch. This one looks like a clutch in lambskin. It does have some small pearls in the front of the bag. I think this is cute, uh, but depending on the price. This one is similar to, I would say, the boy Chanel a little bit with the edging around the back. It does have the flap also in the shiny calf skin. This one's okay. Again, nothing really special. This one is cute. This is another round coin purse with the camellia design on the front and the back of the bag. It looks like it is in lambskin. I think this bag is really cute. Like if money is no issues, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind this bag. But that dress though, God, this dress is so gorgeous. It's probably gonna cost like 20000 <laughs> but it is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love it. Probably costs, I don't know, 10, 20,000, something like that. Chanel ready to wear is not cheap. It's definitely on a different level. Um, this is looks like a shoulder bag, crossbody bag. It looks a little bit bigger than the mini and it does have the classic shoulder strap. I like in the front of the flap, it has all those little pearls. I think that's really pretty. It is lambskin. It looks like lambskin to me. Here's another one of the coin bag in the burgundy shiny calfskin color. I do like the white though. I think the white is really cute. And that's all of the bags that are coming out for the 23K. Again, these bags will be released very soon, probably in the next week or two. So if there's anything that you guys are interested in, be sure to check with your SA. I realized that I have never done any videos regarding to new collections from various brands. So I think going forward, I am going to try to do that more often. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in those and I will keep them coming. But that would be all for today's video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And also click on that bell so that you don't miss any of my future content. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye now.